I wanted to drop a little knowledge on y'all this morning before I went and got my feet done. I just got booked the appointment to get my feet done, little cucumbers on my eyes, a little facial. You feel what I'm saying? Hot stones and the whole nine, the whole nine treatment. You fellas treat yourself, man. And imagine for all you single fellas that's single, imagine, imagine if you go in a place on a Saturday to go get your feet done. Think about how many bad women going to be in there thinking about, dang, dang, look at him. He got money. He take care of himself. See, hygiene is a big thing when it comes to women. You understand? I got to make sure that oil off my forehead. But see, that ain't what the video is about. The video is about this right here. Nothing is more sexier. Nothing in this world is more sexier than when a woman is loyal and she love her man. Even if her man out cheating, making her look stupid. Or, hey, I could think she loyal. Her man could think she loyal. Everybody in the county can think she loyal. She could be sleeping with a guy in a whole nother state. But we don't know that. But I'm just saying, loyalty is so fucking sexy to me. It is so sexy. When a woman show me that she's loyal, I love it. It makes me fall in love with her. And I be wanting to go see who her man is and shake his hand. Because y'all don't understand. So many women be falling for the simple shit in life. I'm 6'6". Six, six, so a lot of women throw themselves at me because I'm tall. I'm 280 pounds. I'm not fat. I'm solid. A lot of women throw themselves at me because I'm big. I get compliments every day, all day. Your hair so beautiful. I like the color. It's so long. Can I do it? Et cetera, et cetera. Uh, some lady just told me, hey, she knocked on my car. She said, you know I'm short. What size are those rims? I said, they're 26s. She said, can you please step out? Everybody in the store talking about how good you smell. I had on that Dior, that Dior Savage. You feel what I'm saying? Well, I have on that Dior Savage. So anyway, um, long story short, I get out of the car, she smelled me. She said, oh, God, you smell good. So I said, what? She said, walk back in the store. These other ladies want to smell you. I said, y'all going to get me in some trouble. The girl behind the cash register said, hey, exactly how much that cost I got to buy it for my man. I told her, I said it was a gift. You feel what I'm saying? And the bottom custom, it got my name on it. So you can even customize it and get his name on it. She was so excited. In the middle of working, she pulled up her phone and she found it. She was like, oh, my God, I'm going to customize it right now. She was like, God, oh, my God. She was just so excited. And then she was like, uh, she was like, I heard you say earlier you finna go get your feet done. She said, you're going to have the most relaxing time. I said, for real? She was like, yeah, I take my man at least twice a month to go get his feet done. And I was like, word, word. And everything she spoke on was about her man. Now, she could be the most disloyal girl in the damn world. But to me and to him, she's loyal and she faithful. And that was sexy. Every woman in there, so I count not, it was at least three white women in there. I would say they was older, around their 40s, 50s. It was like two young girls in there. I remember... uh two older ladies, they was black, they had a dog, it looked like a Chinese lady was in there, and uh, the lady that knocked on my window asked what size rims I had, because she smelled me, she was a black lady, like she was in her 20s, or whatever, so long story short, it's like eight women in there, some of them got me and pumping gas outside, no cow, you know, I pay attention to my surroundings, some of them got me and pumping gas outside, some of them got men sitting in the car, like, waiting on them to get what they're going to get and come on. They sit here complimenting me, throwing themselves at me. I'm talking about, but, mm, God, I'm talking about, for real, for real. The girl behind the counter, she just want her man to smell as good as me. I motivated her to step her man up a level. Ain't nothing more sexier than that. Now, see, just because she loyal... To him for me don't mean she'll be loyal to him for little baby 
a little dirt. You know, girls have their levels now. Every girl had their price. Whether the price is clout, whether the price is uh, this is somebody you done had a crush on, it's a celebrity. Every girl have their price. You feel what I'm saying? It could be an old man that's finna die, finna get an insurance policy. Every girl have their fucking price. So don't get it twisted. Don't get it messed up. But just for the girls that just living a regular life, working a nine to five, and they hold a man down. Like, you know them type of girls, you don't never hear no rumors that they sleeping with this guy, that guy. Uh, the fellas even say, she's fine, but ain't no use to hollering at her because she's on lock. Things like that men admire. Because there's so many whores out here that's making women look bad. To explain to the women, since this video is for the women, I know men can understand this. Listen, y'all. Y'all know how y'all think all black men cheat. Y'all think all black men stay home and play the video game. Y'all think all black men don't want to work. And then you know you got your select few that actually works and don't play the video game and don't hit women. You know how we got a stereotype. Well, it's a stereotype on women now. They got OnlyFans. They got IG models, all that. It's a stereotype. Every girl is after the clout. Every girl is after the money. Every girl is just a thought pocket. So to see a girl that actually speaks up and speak of her man and put her man in a conversation when he's nowhere around is amazing. And that is dope to me. I hate it when I see a beautiful girl have a shit together and they be like, yeah, you know, she been with old boy five, six years, but she ain't nothing but a hoe. I fucked her. This person fucked her. The people could be lying. They could be telling the truth. But usually, if a girl not doing nothing, it don't be no rumors behind her. Whenever a girl really, really, really faithful and she really, really not doing nothing, you hear things like I just said. You hear things like, it ain't no use. You could try it, but she ain't going to go. Uh, oh, man, she's so in love. Oh, and they normally be in love with a bum, a guy that ain't got no money. He ain't got nothing, but they in love with who they in love with. So, ladies, I'm telling you, it's about dead for that whole shit. It's about dead for that whole shit. That whole shit over. Find you a good man. A lot of women like trying to look for the men on top. They already got 50 girls. Y'all don't want no man at the bottom and help him build. Help him build to the top. Y'all want to catch a man that's already at the top. Well, I'm going to tell you like, I'm going to tell you right now, he already got 50,000 bitches. Get you a man y'all build together and stay solid. It's so much sexier. And to give y'all a little backstory for y'all before I let y'all go. Man, I heard a girl had a beautiful house. I mean, I saw it. Her house was beautiful. It had to be like a eight hundred thousand dollar house, maybe one point two million. The girl got nice cars. She worked as a doctor. She's beautiful. Her and her man take couple pictures. They is in love. Like they look so good for the internet. Talk couple goes what? Man, they are the example. They are the 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 epitome of couple goals. And I gotta hurry up I gotta get my feet done and shit. But anyway, no cap. I rem you know, I don't put no time or date on nothing. You know, this could have been fifty years ago. I ain't even fifty. Could have been thirty years ago, could have been twenty years ago, ten years ago, could have been yesterday, could have been today, could have been five minutes ago. I don't put no time or date unless I want y'all to know. But anyway, she got it going on. So all the fellas been saying the things that I said. They've been saying things like she's she's ungettable, she's solid, her boyfriend ain't shit, she pay all the bills, she rich, she got it going on, she own two businesses, and she a doctor. This bitch got it. And she got couple goals. What? When I went to that beautiful house, and I slid my hand across some man charger because he won't home. And I took her in that house. And I fucked her till she couldn't walk. It was good. 
and she cashed out me a shitload of money. But I was like, I don't respect her the same. When I see her online, I just be like, I just be looking at her man like, y'all women don't know what y'all do. Y'all get men. Men will kill you over their money, their kids, and their woman, especially their woman. It's so many men locked up behind murdering or attempted murder, trying to kill a woman or a man she was dating or cheating on him with. There's so many guys in the grave for trying to stop a woman from cheating. Women, men will get violent and try to kill each other over you. You understand? Y'all got to understand how stupid it make your man look. Your man could be the number one rapper in the city. He could be the number one dealer. He could be just that solid, good good man and when the world hear about you playing him and cheating on him it make him look so weak it make people think he's so weak so think about it before you cheat is this dick that you finna get for you're lucky if it's 30 minutes that's if he on a percocet or a honey or something or a rhino 69 that little sex worth embarrassing your man nah it's the women that keep it solid nowadays that's impressive. And I'm telling you, ladies, from an outsider looking in, a man that been in relationships and been engaged, he had hella kids, hella baby mothers. It's so sexy when a woman hold it down. When a woman just let you know off the rip, oh, oh, I'm letting you know now I got a man. Don't mean, hey, look, but guys, this for y'all. I know I say I made this video for women, but guys, don't think for one second. Just because she's not single for you, don't mean she's not single for King Von R.I.P. Don't mean she's not single for Y.N.W. Melly Free Him. Don't mean she's not free for Pooh Shiesty. Maybe you're not on a level. You're not worth the risk. Y'all get what I'm saying? Or... You might be the handsomest man in the world. She might just not like tall guys with dreads. She might like short, light-skinned guys with breast cuts. You might just not be her type. So she might have told you that she had a man and looked faithful. But she might have told that little short, light-skinned guy with a breast cut that she's single. But for the real women that really hold it down, no matter how you look, how you smell, what you drive what your status is, how many followers you got, how many subscribers, how many views. They don't care about that. They in love with Tyrone. They in love with Jerry. They in love with George. They in love with you. They in love with uh, Marcus. They in love with Mark. They in love with him. And they don't care about no other man. That shit is so sexy. But let me go get my feet done. Y'all know I'm going to show y'all some footage. I holler. Y'all have a blessed day. Remember what I said too, guys.